All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick Kyrie Kawai, and we are here for the fifth, I think, fifth week of the IBA season 1.5. We are up against Rebel Trainer and his Bufalant Sabres. Make sure to check out his link to his channel in the description below. We are just getting connected, as you can see. His Pokemon are on the right hand side of the screen, mine are at the bottom of the screen. Let's dive right into it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you guys are new, as always. But uh, I'm hyped to be here. Again, you can see also my Pokemon on the screen down below by the Lance and Leafeon logo. Um, so, something happened in the IBA recently where I was forced to trade my Pelipper for JV's Jirachi, but I didn't bring Jirachi. So I have access to a Jirachi and I didn't bring it. So make note of that. But besides that, there is our team. Um, just making sure things look correct. But let's set the music. Let's give us... I don't even know what the hop music sounds like. So hopefully it's not trash. But we got Grookey Gang versus Sobble Gang over here. Okay, and he has... He brought the Bolton, which is interesting. Definitely interesting to see Bolton wanting to hang out. Um, Rotom is not here. Toxtricity is not here. Both the fairy types are here though. And who else is in here? Appleton's not here. I need to pick who I want to go out with, um, but I got so many things to get rid of. Weavile as well. Wow, not at all what I was really expecting him to bring. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, I, I lost full 10 again, geez. Okay, sorry about all of that. I just wanted to get the layout correct. Uh, but I only have 37 seconds. Still, honestly, a lot of time. But I'm going to make you guys sit through all of that. You're welcome. Um, but let's look at this team, actually. Mm. So who does really good? My fire types don't do great, honestly. Um, so I'm just going to lead with one, I guess. I don't have a lot of time. Oh boy. Cut this kind of close. All right, we're taking it down to the last second. I don't really know who I want to lead. I don't really know who he expects to lead. We both have kind of unconventional teams and I don't really know what I'm doing here. He's weak to ground a lot is something to notice. And I think I do have some ground type attacks now that I think about it actually. On Kyurem and both. Lucario, so that is something to pay attention to. We have Boltend versus our Salazzle. Boltend's very fast, but I think Salazzle might be faster. Um, fire type move is gonna do a lot of damage. What item, we have Focus Sash, and we are not guaranteed to be faster. What does this thing want to do? I don't even know what this thing wants to do. Um, if it sets up, that could be kind of bad. I guess, let me... I'm honestly just gonna... Sludge Wave is slightly more powerful. So I'm just gonna click Sludge Wave, I guess. Ooh, Crunch comes out. Takes me all the way down to the Focus Ash. Okay. So that's a powerful crunch. That thing's very powerful. If I can get a poison, that'd be cool. I don't think the poison's gonna take it out. Um, crunch. Oh, it will. <laughs> that's actually really lucky for me. So Bolton goes down to the crunch. I'm gonna try to do a good job and take him off the layout. I'm trying to be uber focused for this battle, really paying attention. So Bolton just goes down in Cineroar comes in and maybe gets access to Sucker Punch. I believe it does. Sucker, nope, does not get Sucker Punch. So I don't really know if it gets any priority. Um, do I have anything that wants to really safely come in on Incineroar? I do kind of have bulky, ooh, ooh, ooh. So is kind of fast and is good against Hatterene. So maybe I can actually safely switch to 
be here. Incineroar. His move set really isn't. Unless he's got packing Iron Head, which I doubt he'd predict an, predict this switch. So I'm actually gonna switch Razzle Dazzle out. Hit him with the old Razzle Dazzle again, maybe later. We go into Dobby. Uh, and the fake out comes out. So that's they did have priority. I'm glad I switched. That was a solid switch. Now I feel as though Aegislash might be switched out here because Clay Rough is neutral. So I think I think I can go for a bulk up pretty safely here um, because I have the Babiri Berry on Grim Snout here. What's better? I think bulk up is better than a Thunder Wave to be honest. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for the bulk up. See what this Incineroar wants to do. Incineroar does get Iron Head, so potentially could have the Iron Head coverage on Incineroar. I can see that as a possibility. I will be at plus one defense though, and I do have a Babiri Berry, so I should take it no problem. Um, unfortunately, this won't tell me who's faster. Doesn't matter, Incineroar switches out into not so itsy. Okay, so we're bulked up. Um, what is this? Uh, Grim. Versus the Araquanid. Araquanid liquidation is going to do a lot to me. But I am like max, but also physical defense and plus one. So no, it's going to do less than half to me. And I'm at plus one, a plus one attack play rough. Um, is, is a two hit KO. And I should be faster. So I'm gonna. But so is Darkest Lariat, and it's more accurate. So I'm actually gonna click. Oh, or I could set up on this thing. No, I'm going for. I'm not. I'm gonna go for the Darkest Lariat. I'm at plus one attack. I think it's a two hit KO. It is a two hit KO. They set up the sticky webs, which is fine. I have rapid spin. I can get rid of those sticky webs later. Um. Do I get greedy and go for another bulk up? Do I just take this thing out? This thing's kind of a threat. I have two fire types. Um, I feel like he just lets this thing go down here or switches to one of his fairies. So I kind of want to bulk up one more time. You know what? I don't really... Sticky web. Yeah, he switches out. Okay, so I'm going to take advantage of that and get uh, another bulk up off, off which is really good. Because I thought that, well, yeah, I was just looking and I thought the Zacian might come in. So this thing is at plus one attack. Um, so this thing is scary, actually. This thing is very scary. It is incredibly fast. So I feel like there's no reason why, unless a plus two. Oh, plus. Um, plus two play rough that I have doesn't even KO. So I feel like I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave. Because I feel like it, I feel like I can eat some attacks here. I'm, I'm gonna go for the Thunder Wave. Get the T Wave off. Go for the cheese. Go for the cheese, Grim Snarl. Uh, we get the Thunder Wave off. Play Rough comes out, and I. Ooh, that's terrible RNG. I am very sorry that your luck is bad at the moment. That oof. Like, I never know what to say when, honestly, I'm gonna be real, when, when bad stuff happens to my opponents, like, luck-wise, I never know what to say, because I'm, like, super excited about it, but I know if I was in their position, I'd be very frustrated. Um, now I click, I'm gonna click Play Rough again, um, and, and I'm faster, so I get the two-hit KO, so as long as I can live one, I'm at plus two defense, so I do hang on, I do hang on, and I really don't need... Grimmsnarl per se for anybody else. I think if I can get rid of this thing, the rest of my team goes kind of in, uh, to be honest. So we, I just have to hope that I don't miss. Uh, but here comes the, for King and Country, which is the Age of Slash. This is gonna be heavily resisted, uh, but it still does like 33%. This is Leftovers, bulky. So as long as it's not special, Special attacking. Um, if it's physical attacking, I have the Babiri Berry and I'm plus two defense. I may, just might, um, King Shield could come out. I can Thunder Wave through the King Shield and be annoying, but I feel like I just need to click Darkest Lariat because I feel like they're going to want to go. 
Yeah, they're they're switching. If it's a physical attack, I might live. It's a, if it's a special attack, I might I might not. Iron Head, the Berry Berry, and plus two defense, but it is a stab Iron Head from a really 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 powerful Pokemon. But plus two defense and Berry Berry doesn't matter because I get flinched. All right, whatever. I'm going for Thunder Wave then. I have priority Thunder Wave, so you get. I lose Grim Snarl when I could have just taken this thing out right there. That's super frustrating. But I get the Thunder Wave off, so it's not the end of the world. To be honest, another Iron Head takes me out. So there goes my Grim Snarl off. Okay. And this thing has Iron Head. I know that. It's paralyzed. I know that. I can't go for Rapid Spin because it's a ghost type. If it has Shadow Sneak, it can take out Razzle Dazzle. Um, if I go to cure him and knock it out, then he gets a free switch switch in to... I feel like he, sa he saved his Zacian. If he could get his Zacian back in or Hatterene. I'm locked into Shadow Claw here. Um... I only have 30 seconds. I feel like it's a good opportunity to bring out. No, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that I have Earthquake, I guess. I'll show that I have Earthquake. This thing could go for King Shield. Ah, and the sticky webs are still up, that's a problem. But it's paralyzed and I have a choice scar. So I think locking myself into Earthquake is definitely the better move to be locked into. Uh, this is a tough play because whoever gets momentum here, so probably a King Shield coming out. I feel like that is going to reduce my attack, which I don't really like. Yeah, so King Shield comes out. This thing is going to be really annoying, actually. Earthquake, I don't think, makes contact, though. Um, this is Leftovers. This is bulky. Hmm. This is a very bulky Aegislash, and I'm worried about that. I don't know if anybody wants to switch into an Earthquake. Um, so I'm just going to click it again. You know what? I'm going to click it again. Aegislash does get access to, like, Sacred Sword, which is kind of bad. That does quite a bit to Lucario. Um, actually, not really. Never mind. It really doesn't. Yeah, again, I don't, I've kind of weakened his team now. Even though I haven't knocked out more than one Pokemon, his uh, Zacian and his Araquanid are lower on HP. Um, Zacian's paralyzed. Okay, we get the Earthquake off. Not enough to take it out, so he's going to go for close combat. Yeah, and close combat takes me out. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna do some... Alright, so Lucario's down. That's not how I wanted to lose Lucario, honestly. I really did not want to lose Lucario like that. That wasn't a, really a smart idea. Um, I'm going out here to my Dynamax Pokemon. And we are going to click... Coil because I think he's going to go for the uh, King Shield again. I don't see why he wouldn't. And I don't think he can... If he goes for it this turn, I don't think he can go for it next turn. So I'm going to use this as a free turn to set up. If he switches, fine. If, if he uh, stays in and King Shield, fine. This is... Uh, that's that's Neither of those are a problem. The Sticky Webs is a problem. And I would have liked to have gotten a chance to bring Serena in here and click Rapid Spin. But this Ghost type that's been sitting in front for these... I haven't been able to break through this thing. Okay. So the switch out, probably back to Araquanid. Yeah, okay, so Araquanid comes out. And that's honestly not great. Um, is gonna, is gonna bot me, it's gonna bot me. But not at plus one defense and big for me. So do I have anything that is, they're all neutral. Um, and I'm at plus one, and I think max attack. Sorry, I need to look at something. Fire Lash is not doing that much. Wow, that thing's bulky. Oh, Fire Lash is resisted. Um, 
leech life. It's really not even doing that much. So I feel like I go for... Do I think knockoff KOs? I got 20 seconds. I need to calc, calc this. No, it doesn't. None of these do a lot of damage. Oh, wait. It doesn't have an item. Give it an item. No, still not enough. Uh, no, I need to Dynamax in case he's faster. Need to Dynamax in case he's faster. Okay. I don't think he's going to be faster. I maybe didn't need to Dynamax, but I really couldn't let risk the damage is if I didn't knock it out with any of my moves, if it's like max physical defense. I had to just really think that all the different scenarios out in my head. I should be way faster, and it should get knocked out in one hit. Um, so that's good. This is, that's, that's good. Okay, so this thing goes down. Goodbye, Araquanid. All right, Araquanid goes down. And who comes out next is a good question. I don't really know. Let's find out. I kind of, my G-Max Pokemon actually kind of beats the rest of his Pokemon. I can't really do a ton of damage to uh, Incineroar, but Incineroar can't do a ton of damage back to me as well, so it's fair. He is taking his time now. I have regained some momentum here for sure. Um, and yeah, again, he doesn't have his Gigantamax Pokemon, so I keep thinking about him being able to Gigantamax to kind of counter and stall out my turns, but he doesn't have the ability to do that. So here comes Luna, the Hatterene, um, which I can hit with... Oh, I totally go for the special attack lowering move. 100%. 100%. I go first. Uh, I'm at plus one attack. Finally, Centiferno... Ironically enough, being nicknamed Trash, putting in some work here. Yeah, I think Centiferno just, uh, or <laughs> Centiscorch with G-Max Centiferno move, it might actually put in the work here for once. Uh, I put, oh, nope, nope. I am talking about it, so I was looking at its name and I made it disappear. You're not dead, buddy. You're still alive. Don't worry. But yeah, I put Coil, like, I, I pretty much kept this dude set the entire time. I've changed up one move this week. I brought, uh... Uh, leech life here instead of the I had the grass type move power whip before so so which it up but besides that the set has been exactly the same with coil and three attacking moves but yeah I'm happy to see it putting in a little bit of work here King shield I think a Dynamax move still goes through the King shield but it still should live uh, and this will be burn then my third turn of Dynamax here but it actually doesn't live does not live through the King Shield so that is very very good and this is looking very good for the rest of my team because now after say something does knock out Centiscorch here basically what I do is I send out Serena which is basically death fodder at this point just to set up the White Smoke, you can't lower my stats. Yeah, White Smoke, <laughs> sent to Scorch, coming in clutch, my dude. Yes, Leech Life, and um, yeah, give me give me some of that health back. Give me some of that health back. But uh, yeah, I was talking about the strategy. Yeah, I, I would basically, if uh, sent to Scorch would be knocked out, I would uh, send in Serena, Rapid Spin to get rid of the hazards, and then Salazzle and Kiram would faster than both of them because I believe the Zacian is still still paralyzed. We are back in this. I was 0 and 4. I have lost every single uh, battle so far in this IBA season 1.5. So it feels good. I'm not going to lie. It feels good to uh, I'm not going to speak too soon here because this is not over. Okay, here comes the fake out which is free damage. Does about 20%. Doesn't really do much besides a little bit of free damage. Uh, we gotta go for... Do I get greedy? I'm just gonna get greedy and go for another coil. Because, like, why not? Why not? You know what? Why not? <laughs> I 
I feel like I can easily set up on this thing. What is it gonna do? You gonna go for Earthquake? You got a Rock, you don't have a Rock type move. You have Earthquake. Okay, well, you know what? But I'm at plus two defense. Dude, he ate that. Dude, said to Squid, you ate that. And then whoop, I'm gonna get all that health back. Health back. Nom, nom, nom. With this Leech Life. Get ready for this, ready? Bop. Oh, he lived that. Incineroar lived that. Um, Incineroar lived that, but that's okay. Darkest Lariat comes out. This is neutral as well. Ooh, crit. That was a critical hit. That wasn't a crit? Does Darkest Lariat ignore stat boost? Is, it can't be that much more powerful. Um, here comes Link, the paralyzed Zacian, to take a plus two leash life. This thing's going down. It lived that? Oh, it was resisted. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just going to continue to click it because the next one will take you out and I'll get a little bit of health back. So, yeah, this has been a, this was, this was good. I'm very happy. I didn't rush my thinking process. That's been the problem I've had or one of the problems I've had. Uh, because to be honest, I didn't team build super hard for this. I legitimately like grabbed like six versions of Pokemon. I changed a couple moves, uh, but these were Pokemon I already had built in my box. So I was like, I'm done overthinking things. Like I, I think I've been playing this season, like, you know, playing against in like showdown or, you know, playing in like the OU metagame. And like, this is so like random with our randomized teams and like some of the sets are kind of weird and you know in general draft league like sets are more specific and weird so like making predictions like i'm just trying to like play a little bit more i guess straightforward um and just kind of like go with it but like also again th think through everything in the moment instead of just like planning ahead of time and then like being like not focused in the battle i think is my problem or has been my problem but i definitely managed to stay more focused this battle and it's gonna go right down to the end of the timer this leech life should do it for incineroar so centiscorch picks up the final ko here i had the layout messed up again but we win with a 4-0 victory um and really good job to my I, i'm gonna have to to take away the trash nickname i have literally nicknamed centiscorch trash and that is no longer. Scentiscorch, you are getting a better nickname starting next week because you have proven that you are not indeed that, that trash. Um, to be honest, I think I had a pretty good matchup against um, Rebel for this battle. I just think in general, he didn't have a lot of uh, ways to deal with, he had, like, with fire Pokemon. Um, he had the uh araquanid and that was really about it like he has incineroar but again all he could use was earthquake which was actually neutral against um Sand scorch because bug resists ground so and again realistically he had nothing but the araquanid could hit fire types super effectively uh with stab so fire I, I kind of like i noticed that a little bit as i was picking what pokemon i wanted to bring this week for the battle so i threw on you know both salazzle and Santa scorch um and yeah it definitely worked out so i'm happy with that we're back at it uh we're no longer on a losing streak and uh, we're on the come up so here we go watch out everybody i'm coming for you so thank you guys so much for watching this video again make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one um hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day evening or morning peace